Okay, this problem has to do with confidence intervals. So what's an interval? It's a range of numbers that you think of certain values going to fall in between. So we want a confidence interval for the true population mean weight. So we want an interval that's going to show where we think our mean weight is going to fall for these books that we uh, are measuring the weights of. So they want us to come up with a 95% confidence interval. And what that means, if you took a sample of 30 books over and over and over and over and over again, 95% of the time, the mean weight for the, each sam for the samples will fall within this range of numbers. That, that's basically what it is. So it's an interval. Interval is a range. So you're going to have to have two numbers, a low number, and a high number. And how do we find it? We use this formula. You do the mean weight of the books minus the z alpha over 2. Remember what that is? That's one of our that's our critical value. Times the standard deviation divided by the square root of n. So you subtract it from the mean and you add it to the mean to get that interval. Okay, to get that range of numbers. So the first thing we got to do is figure out z alpha over 2 for a 95% confidence level. So I always have to draw a picture. So I draw a picture. So it means there's 0.95 in the middle, and here's your negative z alpha over 2, and here's your positive z alpha over 2. Remember how you find alpha over 2, I mean alpha, alpha, alpha is equal to 1 minus the confidence level. So in this case it's 1 minus 0.95, so it's 0 0.05, but you got to divide it in two because some of this alpha is over here, half of the alpha is over there. So this is basically 0 0.05 divided by 2, which is equal to 0 0.025. This is also equal to 0 0.025. All right. So what do you do? It's easy to take the, the negative um, side. And you're, you're looking on your negative side. And you're looking for 0 0.025 in the body because you know the area. You're trying to find a z that corresponds to it. And I think this one is in here exactly. It is. It's right here, 0.025. If you go across, it's negative 1.96. So that's positive 1.96 So because it's, it's symmetric. That's a good one to remember because they ask you that one a lot, 95% confidence interval. So it's good to just remember 95% 1.96 for z alpha over 2. So, geez, I think we have the z alpha over 2. We have the sigma. That's the 4.2, and x, oh, we have the x bar, that's the 47, and we have the n, that's the 30. So I think we can just plug in at this point. So let's see, so x bar, which is 47 minus z alpha over 2, you use the, the, the positive version of it, times sigma, which is 14.2 over the square root of 30. And then you do the same thing but plus. Okay, so you just do both of those out. And I think I got, um, let's see, what did I get? I got 47 minus 5.08. And I got 47 plus 5.08. Okay, so that gives you a range of a confidence interval. That's what we're, we're figuring out. It's 41.9 to 52.08. Well, that's our, our confidence interval, our range of numbers that we expect that the mean for the book weights is going to fall within. So I hope that helps kind of a two step. First, you have to figure out the z alpha over 2. And then you had to know what the information they gave you, plug into the formula, and solve. So I hope that helps. Good luck.